A worldwide shortage of parts, skilled labor, and new aircraft after the post-pandemic aviation boom, coupled with the higher frequency of engine maintenance for next-generation engines, has resulted in the longest ever wait times for engine maintenance. According to a Reuters report, airlines will face increasing waits for engine maintenance, with the problem expected to peak in 2026. The parts and labor shortage will put immense pressure on maintenance, repair and overhaul or MRO providers worldwide as they struggle to keep up with the increasing demand for maintenance. The report highlights another report by consultancy group Bain & Company. According to the report, turnaround times for next-generation engines such as the Pratt & Whitney GTF and CFM International Leap are 150% higher than pre-pandemic values and 35% higher for legacy engine types. Jim Harris, the co-leader of Bain's global aerospace and defense practice, spoke about the findings, saying, Aircraft engine MRO demand is likely to experience a near-term peak in 2026 and remain constrained through the end of the decade. The next large surge in demand from new generation engines will begin towards the end of 2030. Unless MRO companies act quickly to close this capacity gap, airlines will face higher costs to operate constrained fleets. The financial burden on top of growing costs to decarbonize air travel is likely to slow passenger travel growth. The problem is being exacerbated by the slower delivery of new aircraft, which in turn forces airlines to continue operations with older aircraft slated for replacement. These often require more complicated and time-consuming maintenance and parts that are harder to source due to their age. The main issue regarding engine maintenance and the parts shortage is the lack of jetliner suppliers. These days, many aircraft manufacturers offer no more than two engine options with their aircraft, and some don't offer any options at all. For example, Airbus offers two options for its best-selling Airbus A320neo family the Leap 1A from CFM International and the geared turbofan from Pratt & Whitney. The A320neo's direct competitor, the Boeing 737 MAX, exclusively utilizes the Leap 1B engine. Making this situation worse for airlines and the overall industry is that regulators have forced Boeing to slow down aircraft production until proper quality controls are implemented. While this is critical for Boeing in the pursuit of delivering safe aircraft, the lower output does have its knock-on effects. Meanwhile, a major engine issue with Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan engines requires maintenance much sooner than expected. This is one of the main drivers of the maintenance crisis we're seeing. In this instance, the powdered metal used to produce many engine components was contaminated. The issue affects nearly 1,200 engines, and is expected to impact 350 aircraft annually through 2026. So, perhaps now is an excellent time to get into the MRO business, as long as you have a way to get all the right components. What do you think of this ongoing issue? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week, if you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.